All right, guys, welcome back to another one. Thank y'all so much for watching the last couple of videos. And I keep forgetting to ask y'all this in the beginning of the video, so let me ask you it in this one. If you do enjoy my videos, please like and subscribe. That would be a big help to me. So today I have a few things on the uh, docket. First of all, I noticed that um, um, my inventory is getting super duper full, but it's not foals that I want to sell because they're actually really nice cross coats and stuff like that. So I'm going to do a little showcase of some of the horses that I have available uh, for trade or for sale. And so if you ha happen to want to offer for any of them, here's what you're going to have to do, okay? You're going to shoot me a friend request on Roblox or follow or whatever it is that you can do so you can join me in game. And then if you do send me a friend request, send me a message as well so I'll know. Because sometimes I get random friend requests from people in game and they never tell me, you know, like, hey, I, you know, hey, I know you from this. So anyways, if you do end up wanting to offer for one, friend me, uh, message me, and then you can just, I can accept the friend request, you can join me whenever, look through all the horses I have for trade, and also, since y'all are watching, or, you know, if you're subscribed, you also can get kind of first pick all this stuff, and I'll make sure that y'all get a good square deal for them. Alright, so, I'm pretty sure most of these aren't actually currently available, I think it's just the Jungle Island one, because that one just popped up. All right. Also, guys, um, we are so close to getting the Deep Sea Clydesdale from Sunny. So we might actually be getting that today as well. I also have one more horse I need to show you, but I'll show you that while I show you the rest of the stuff. Oh, by the oh my goodness, guys, I read this and I thought for a second there it said Whiny Boulevard. I was like, whiny? Well, I mean, sometimes, but not all the time. I have had no luck finding that deep sea Clydesdale, guys. Have you had luck finding it? I feel like I've really looked a lot, and I've spent so much time on this game uh, lately. I mean, I've been doing the videos, and I've been doing a ton of playing on my own, on, you know, my two accounts, and, well, mostly on this one. And I have not been seen hide nor hair of a deep sea Clydesdale, except for a single one. And at some point in this video, I will insert that clip of me catching that single uh, deep sea Clydesdale. But I haven't seen hide nor hair of any others. I mean, I haven't seen them in the markets. I haven't seen them in the wild. I I mean, I've seen... I've been on servers in rare instances where someone else has caught one. But it isn't like... I know that's how it's supposed to be. You know, you're not supposed to be able to really catch them. But for some reason, it seems less even than normal. You know? Um, maybe I'm just, you know, slowly going bananas. But that is kind of to be expected. That is... <laughs> Oh, it just happens. Congratulations to all you guys, by the way, who guessed who the horse in the last video was. It is indeed Seabiscuit. I realized when I rewatched the video back that I didn't give, like, a formal introduction of the horse. And, I mean, I kind of did, but I didn't say, like, hey, this is, you know, this horse. And that could have helped a bit, you know. But, let me just see how many I have, because I believe that I need, I meant, uh, let's see. I believe I need like 30 or something. 30. I have 26. Nice. I eat. Okay. Having a private server has helped so much with these solar stones. And by the way, for next event, guys, I obviously I do have the private server. And honestly, you know, y'all are more than welcome to get on the private server, my private server. And, you know, we can all search during the next event, hopefully. Um, I'm not sure what the next event will be, but, or, you know, even if this, if this video comes out before the, the summer event ends, if you just, you know, send me a message, I'll whitelist you on my server and that way you can, uh, you can be free to join and, you know, you can, I mean, you know, to a certain extent, sometimes I won't be allowing it. Like if I'm, if, if I really need to get a video done, I'll probably end up just privating the server. But if I'm not on or whatever, y'all could be more than free to get on and, and uh, collect the solar stones, try to catch some of the event horses. I'm more than happy to have that. Alright, do we see anything up on top of this hill? I don't think there's anything up here, honestly. Should we get our deep sea Clydesdale first, guys, or shall we go and do something else first? 
Maybe I'll go through my first uh, five available horses. And then we can do that. All right. Goodness me. I need to turn off that chat box. So I just keep like poking at it. I'm just going to look through my horses to make sure I know which ones I am currently going to be offering. Um, don't mind this horse's name. Okay. We were, my uh, brother was watching me play and he said that the brown black horse looked like it was had no clothing on. <laughs> and so he said I should try to name it Streaker. <laughs> Which I thought was incredibly funny. So we were trying to see what versions of Streaker would go past the, you know, the little thing where it kind of says you can't name them this. Alright, we're going to go ahead and go to my island. And I'm going to show you, first off, I'm going to show you my whole barn and pasture which is all for trade, except for the first stall on the right, because y'all know who that is. We just put him in there. We love him. It is Seabiscuit, and he is not and will never be for trade. Also, I uh, changed the color of this barn because I felt it was a little light. Hello, Seabiscuit, my dear. Can we give you a treat? I wish we could. Oh, he came right over to us. Oh, hi, baby. You're so cute, and we love you. Yeah, I feel like... I wish they would add a place on the stall where you can put the horse's tack. Like a little saddle, blah, blah, blah. I know they don't have that on actual stalls. I mean, somewhat. And then a little place where you can hang the bridle. I just feel like that'd be really cool. Okay. First baby. This is one that I got from... Yeah, it's a co-breeding. Silver chestnut freezing with a medium light chestnut mane and long light chestnut tail. Beautiful horse, really. And it is... I think it's 91% purebred. So it's pretty close to purebred. It's a male, and it's lazy, and honestly, gorgeous. It's a wonderful horse. This is another one. Okay, another lazy, so he's laying down. I'm going to pick up uh, this horse. And it's the Pertron Blue Roan coat, but on a Clydesdale. So, honestly, this is the most gorgeous coat. Here, I can't get him to stand up, so we're going to pull out our other one. Don't have another one. Apparently, that's my only one, or he's in the storage. Okay, this one was uh, a gift, and honestly, very gorgeous horse. I'm just not the biggest fan of spooks. So if one of y'all would like to offer for them, let me know. This was part of a... I don't remember whether it was a trade or whether I got this from a co-breeding. Let me look. Okay, it was a co-breeding, but I don't remember if I got this or someone else did. This is a beautiful boy. He's energetic. Uh, it's a stallion with the medium and the long and honestly beautiful beautiful boy this is my gorgeous uh horse well they're obviously horses why am i saying i almost said gorse my gorgeous horse anyway so look at her she is a beautiful one i caught her i think yes i caught her on lunar islands and she has medium dark green mane and long dark gray tail this one was a co-breeding I did with somebody, and it's a legacy gray pinto coat. This dolphin may not necessarily come with it. It's just on it, because I... Don't kick me. It, she's a bit of a grump. She, or he. He's a bit of a grump, he is. I feel like naming him Mouse. He just looks like a mouse to me. Then we have uh, this baby, and I believe I bought this one. Yes, I did. And I bought this one as a foal, raised it up myself. He's a very, very wonderful boy. Look at him. Aw, so gorgeous. He was originally going to be a gift to somebody. But then that person, I was like trying to give him to somebody. And they, uh, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't respond to me. So I kind of just ended up keeping him. All right, let's head on out here to the pasture. I'm not going to show you every single one of these horses, uh, the ice cream horses. I'm just going to show you this one because he's named, she's named, and her name is Sprinkles, and she's my first one I've ever gotten that had, yeah, I caught her. She's the first one I've ever gotten that has the sprinkle mane and tail, and she is gorgeous. All right, next of all, I already showed you these, the Akultekis and stuff, and then I have this beautiful thoroughbred with the Akultekki coat, and it is actually an OG, okay? So this is an OG thoroughbred, guys beautiful uh she's wonderful it's a mare independent let me just uh, check on the purity for y'all all right let's see here 60 percent purebreds that's not too bad and she has 51 friendliness and she has natural long mane and tail 
All right, guys, that's it for the first batch of those. And let's see here. I also have a random gray. Oh, wait, I'll, I'll show you in the next batch. Sorry, guys. I'll show you in the next batch. Let's go turn in our um, solar stones right now and get our deep sea Clydesdale. No, I'm going to. Yeah, okay, right there. All right, let's turn in our solar stones. Are we there yet? We are there. All right. Let's get this piece of leather as well. Okay, hop our way over here. I don't know why I always feel like this is a better way to, to move than just running. I'm always like, hop, 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 hop. Boing. I shouldn't just name... If I ever get a... Uh, Bay Brindle. Thoroughbred, I'll just call it Tigger. Did anyone else notice that he has a parrot on his sunglasses? I didn't notice that until now. <gasps> oh my goodness, a tail ship well with ship wheel neon red. Let's turn in our next batch. Oh goodness, we don't have second batch. <sighs> How many have I brought you? I brought him 17 and 40. I was so sure we had brought him all of them. Oh, we need three more. Well, that was very anticlimactic, guys. I'm sorry about that. Ah, uh, goodness me, no. We're not going to do that. I love that neon red tail ship wheel. And I know exactly what needs to go on. Come here, baby. Pickles. Her tack set is almost completely neon red. So we're going to have to put that on. Oh, so cute. It looks so good on her. Well, I think. All right, here's the first one. Here's a bit of a tease, by the way, guys. I've got some Palominos here that I am getting ready for my next Famous Horses of History. And I believe this one is one that will be more universally known. I'm like 90% sure of it. Especially if you watch any type of old movies and stuff, you will definitely know my inventory's overfilled. I know my inventory's overfilled. All right, let's head on up here and see if we can get the rest of our stands. I also got this one from earlier today, this shiny blue, and I got this icy blue one. By the way, also guys, any of these accessories, and I mean, well, almost any of them, up for trade, okay? <laughs> Even the ones that I spent 175 tokens on, like this tail starfish. Where is it? What is that? A school somewhere? Why can I not find these things? Oh, there it is. <laughs> this one was 175, okay? All right. As was this. The Summer Limited Bell Boots were 175. They're from the spring. It's not spring. I'm an idiot. It's from the Summer Fountain. And yes, it is as much of a... Well, it's not a ripoff. I just don't really have... I don't know. I guess I don't have... Oh, I ran to a tree. I guess I don't have really good luck with it. That's all I'm saying, guys. All right, let's go ahead and get our deep sea a Clydesdale. <gasps> oh my goodness, and it's easy going. Yes, 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 please. Seriously, dude, I did. I brought you seventeen sixty. It should say seventeen sixty. All right, let's take a look. All right, but before we take a look at that one, let us look at this one that I caught earlier. Oh, that's not the caught one. I'm sorry, guys. I bought that one. Where's the call one? This one! I bought the- or, uh, uh, I caught this one on Jungle Island. Look at the baby. Oh, I ran to a pole. He's wonderful, and his personality is sassy, and I love it so much. So let's take a little ride around on him. Oh my goodness, so gorgeous. Such a beautiful horse. Look at that, wow. Yeah, I know, I know. You don't like running. You're kind of silly. So I now have- Three of these deep sea Clydesdales that I need names for you guys. This one especially. Look at that beautiful mane and tail. Where was that place that had... Okay, so there's one on jungle. Let's hope it's another deep sea Clydesdale because I have so many tokens. Tis not. That's a Clydesdale there, but it's right there. I believe it's an Andalusian. Tis an illusion. Hi there, baby. Oh, you're so cute. Look at that one. All of my Clydesdales I've gotten are males, I think. Watch me eat my words in one second. They're all males. Yep. 
And I have one sassy, one grumpy, one whatever. Alright, let's head on back um, to my island. And also, guys, thank you for all the wonderful name suggestions. I have so many name suggestions. I'm going to work on getting them input into one of those little randomizer things that will draw one of them. Just so, because I don't really want to pick one of y'all's names. They're all so wonderful, you know. Um, oh, he kind of matches the inside of the barn. I wish we could have, like, a sea fade paint, you know. Like, like a fade. Ooh, that's what I want. I wonder if you can do that. Let me just see. Oh, no, you can do an icy fade, but you can't do a, that, oh my goodness, that deep blue sea fade on a wall would be so gorgeous. I would do my whole barn in that, honestly. All right, here is the next few horses that I have available. I have a thoroughbred. These are all going to be foals, all right? So, I tell you what. We're just going to name them, so y'all can say, like, if you want one. Stripey. Stripey is a male energetic uh, thoroughbred. He's gray brindle and he is 57% purebred. Here is his mama. I think it's his mom. This is his mom and she is, she's actually an OG. So chances are that he's going to be an OG. All right. Because he's a thoroughbred Akutaki. So he's going to be an OG. So I have an OG right there. I have this baby and... We're going to call it Lucy. Oops, sorry. Lucy. Lucy is a red roan blanket energetic Arabian. And once again, I will show you the mama. All right. So here's the mom of Lucy. See, this, so it's, this is what Lucy's going to look like when she grows up. Then we have another one. This is an Akultecki and another energetic, a white Akultecki with a black mane and tail or gray. Sorry, light gray. And she's 50% purebred. And I'll go ahead and show you her mom. Her mom is Echo. Who is also 50% purebred. Sorry for all the random stuff on her. She's just, she's, she's holding a lot of my summer stuff right now. So she's a white Akutaki, 50% purebred. And she has the white uh, thoroughbred coat, I believe. From what I see up here. Okay, next full. Oh, I forgot to name this one. We're going to name this one Snowball. Actually, was it a mare or a... We'll name it Snowball. That's fine. Okay. Next one that is available is this gorgeous boy. He is a... He has the Bay Ackle Techie coat. And his name is going to be... Big Red. Alright, so Big Red is definitely available. He's a gorgeous boy. This is his... I believe he is from this horse. I could be wrong, though. I believe he is from this horse. Two foals bred. Yeah, I think it's this one. This is his mama. And, okay, so he also has the Olds Black, I believe. Oh, no, he doesn't. Okay. Palomino Mane and Tail. Because he's a thoroughbred and I bred him with... I don't remember who. One of my Palominos. You know what I'm talking about. Okay. Next, I have a wild-caught black Tobiano Frisian. We're just going to call this one Patches. I know we already have a Patches, but this one can be Patches, too. Patches is lazy. He is 55% purebred, and he was wild-caught on Volcano. Yes, Volcano Island. Actually, just earlier today. All right, so we got Patches. We've got... This wild caught dapple gray, 90% purebred, and we're going to call it him. Is it a him? It's a her. We're going to call her Freckles. She's clingy. Um, she's wild caught. She was caught on mainland. She's like right by, you know, when there's that long canyon and then up on the wall, you can find a horse. That is where she is from. So she's 90% purebred. She is not an OG, but she is wonderful. Look at that beautiful trot she's got going there. All right, and we also have just one more, and this one I'm just going to call uh, Brookie, like, you know, brownie cookie. 
She, once again, is wild caught. Uh, this one's one that was caught not on video, I don't believe. She was caught later. Let me see. Was she caught on video? She actually was. No, she wasn't. Whatever. Anyways. Her name is Brookie. She is 30% purebred, and she was caught on June 29th. I also have one of the co-breeding unique outcomes, if anyone is interested. And I'm just going to call, uh, what should we call this? I don't know what to call it, it's so pretty. I'm going to call it splatches. It's like patches and splotches mixed together. And she is easy going and a co-breeding unique. Very gorgeous horse. I will show you it's mama. I believe it's a mama. Yes, this is the mama. Sassy and beautiful. See? All right. I don't remember all the other parents of the people, but remember, so what we have available right now is we have uh, big red and then some foals. We have goodness stop backing up that's not one of the foals um we have big red we have stripey who's gray brindle lucy who's an island unique snowball who's a white ackle techie patches a wild caught frisian freckles and then splatches all right and we also have i'll just throw him on at the very end we have this beautiful we already saw him but this beautiful spooky guy um and you can just, I don't know, if, if y'all are interested in any of them, you let me know, all right? Because there's definitely plenty of room um, for some of these horses to go to some new homes. So, I definitely would be very happy about that. Oh, you just kicked me in the face. <laughs> no. All right, well, you guys, thank you for watching. We got our Deep Sea Collide Zale. Make sure that if you have any more name suggestions for any of these horses... That you put them in the comments. Thank y'all for watching. Like and subscribe. And y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.